Today is July 21st, 2011, and to the best of my knowledge, this is the smallest elm that's ever been built. We used a 12 inch barrel for this stove and made a special flue exit on the top to make the front to back distance on the stove so that it will fit English fireplace installations. And this is the second time we've fired the stove up. It's been going for an hour and a half. The temperature I measured on the front, just in front of the uh, stove pipe, is uh, 720 degrees. It's a picture straight on. There's a pretty good fire in there. About half the firebox is filled with dry hardwood. We'll take a shot at the. Uh, all you see is heat waves coming out of the stovepipe. It happens to be 95 degrees today, which is not an ideal situation. Oftentimes the draft is dramatically reduced when it's this hot. This stove has a secondary air system which consists of a single U tube. On this, the left side, we call it a left-handed British stove. And what we notice with the temperature readings on this side, it'll be anywhere from 75 to 140 degrees hotter than the other side, which is a direct result of the secondary combustion, which is an interesting thing. I've never done just one on one side. Uh, it dramatically proves that the secondary combustion works to heat up the barrel hotter, which to me tells you that the stove is more efficient. I'm going to have a seat here. The window's clean, and it's a cute little guy. My friend Julian will be producing these stoves just outside of London, England for the English and European market in the coming years. He's here with me to learn about building elms and it was his idea to make them smaller for his particular market. Thank you for watching.